The next topic we want to move on to is testing claims about averages, meaning we want to test a claim about either a mean or a median. Before we can get into that though, we need to look at how we verify the conditions to test a mean, which is going to bring us back to this idea of assessing normality that we first looked at with confidence intervals. So in order to test the mean of a population, we need to verify that two different conditions are met. Our sample must be random and independent. And our sample must come from a normally distributed population. Or we need to have a sample size that's 25 or larger. So if there are 25 values or more in our sample size, that condition's met. But in the case where we have smaller sample sizes, then we need to assess the normality. If those conditions aren't met, then we'll turn to the median as our alternative measure of center and test a claim about that. So the question is, how do we assess normality? We've done this previously, again, <clears throat> when we looked at constructing confidence intervals for averages. And the tool that we used previously were QQ plots. So we constructed a QQ plot for our data which showed us this theoretical straight line and then a plotting of all of our data values. So to interpret that, we looked at our plot to see if it follows a straight line pattern. If our data followed that straight line pattern, then we would say that our data comes from a normally distributed population or from a normal population. If the plot did not follow that straight line pattern, then we would say our data comes from a non-normal population. So that's a previous method that we looked at. But now what we want to do in this section is introduce a new method for assessing normality. Since what we're doing now is talking about hypothesis testing, we're going to introduce a method that lets us use hypothesis testing to test a claim about the normality of our data. But again, in the end, we'll come to one of the same two conclusions, either that our data comes from a normal distribution or comes from some non-normal distribution.